Hello and welcome to Kent Today Video News. Coming up, a dad's warning other parents to get their kids cycle helmets after his son was knocked down and a couple have had a lucky escape after a car ploughed into their home. But first, Kent could lose its high-speed train services during the Olympic Games in 2012. As part of Southeastern's franchise, they must hand over the trains to the Games Organising Committee and the train company will have no say over timetables. It's still not been decided exactly what will happen, but it may be that the trains only run between Ebbsfleet and St Pancras. A Medway father is pleading with children to wear their cycle helmets after his 11-year-old son was hit by a car when he was riding home from school. Declan Chester from Walderslade escaped with a broken collarbone when he was knocked over near his school. Dad Thomas says Declan was very lucky as he wasn't wearing any helmet. An Ashford churchyard has become the unlikely setting for a protest as a man sets up camp. Bellringer Chris Cooper's camping out at St Mary's because he wants a public inquiry into the £1.7 million of taxpayers' money which is being spent on the church. It's being converted into a more flexible arts venue, but Chris is worried the historic features of the church will be lost. And finally, a twist of fate meant that a couple from Mepham escaped death after a BMW crashed into the front wall of their house. They were sitting in another room as they had guests, but might otherwise have been seriously injured. You can see here the damage caused to their front room. The driver was taken to hospital and police are investigating the cause. Check out KMFM for more of the latest local news. That's it. You're up to date.